Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this video, we will explore a very interesting topic. Top 30 Actors You Will Never See Again, Standing at the Peak of Fame, These Stars Suddenly Passed Away Quietly. However, their brilliant image and contribution to the entertainment world will live forever in the hearts of the public. Before starting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always receive breaking news about the lives of glamorous celebrities. Let's go! Number 30. Natalie Wood, born on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, California, as Natalia Nikolaevna Zakharenko, was a talented Hollywood actress. She made a profound impact with outstanding performances in films such as Rebel Without a Cause, Splendor in the Grass, and West Side Story. With her natural acting ability, versatility, and radiant beauty, she captivated the hearts of audiences worldwide. Tragedy struck when Natalie Wood passed away on November 29, 1981, in a mysterious drowning incident off Catalina Island at the age of 43. The sudden death of the lovely starlet shocked Hollywood and saddened audiences worldwide. Natalie Wood left behind significant contributions to the art of acting with her ability to portray diverse roles naturally and vividly. She became an icon of female empowerment and the pure, luminous beauty of Hollywood during its peak. Number 29. Jack Lemmon, born on February 8, 1925, in Boston, Massachusetts, was one of the greatest comedic and dramatic actors in Hollywood. He made a deep impression with humorous yet poignant performances in timeless classics such as Some Like It Hot, The Odd Couple, and The Apartment. The peak of Jack Lemmon's career was marked by winning two Oscars for Best Actor in a Leading Role for the films Save the Tiger, 1973, and Missing, 1982. The actor passed away on June 27, 2001, at the UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles after a long battle with lung cancer, at the age of 76. The loss of the comedic legend deeply saddened the world of cinema, mourning one of the most talented actors of all time. Jack Lemmon left behind significant contributions to the art of acting by uniquely embodying both humorous and deeply introspective characters. He became a pinnacle figure in black comedy cinema. Number 28, Dean Martin, born on June 7, 1917, in Steubenville, Ohio, was famous for his comedic roles on screen alongside his partner Jerry Lewis and as a popular singer. His notable works include films like Rio Bravo, Ocean's Eleven, and the song Everybody Loves Somebody. The peak of his career was during his hosting of television shows The Dean Martin Show and The Dean Martin Celebrity Roast in the 1960s to 1970s. He passed away on December 25, 1995, at his home in Beverly Hills, California, due to complications from diabetes at the age of 78. His death shocked many fans as he remained active and vibrant until his final years. Dean Martin was praised for his diverse talents and made a significant impact across various entertainment fields. Number 27. Gene Seberg, born on November 13, 1938, in Marshalltown, Iowa, was widely known for her role in the iconic film, Breathless, about de souffle, directed by Jean-Luc Godard in 1960, portraying a carefree young woman. This role propelled her to international stardom, becoming an icon of the French New Wave cinema movement. The peak of her career was starring in the film, Saint Joan, directed by Otto Preminger in 1957, earning a Golden Globe nomination. However, Jean Seberg suffered severe depression due to FBI surveillance during the civil rights movement in the 1970s. She tragically took her own life by carbon monoxide poisoning on September 8, 1979. At the age of 40, her death shocked the public due to her previous illustrious film career. She was praised as a cinema icon of the 1960s, contributing to shaping the new wave filmmaking style of French cinema. Do you like this angel? 
Please comment, love, in the comments section if you love her. Number 26. Jane Mansfield, born on April 19, 1933, in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, was widely recognized for her glamorous blonde bombshell image and voluptuous figure on the Hollywood screen during that era, appearing in films such as, The Girl Can't Help It, and, Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. The peak of her career was when she appeared in Playboy magazine in 1963, becoming an icon of sensuality in the 1960s. However, Jane Mansfield tragically died in a car accident on June 29, 1967, in Louisiana at the age of 34. Her sudden death shocked the public as her career was still on the rise. Despite controversy over her provocative style, Mansfield was acknowledged as a talented film star, contributing to shaping popular culture and affirming the beauty standards of that era. Number 25, Tyrone Power, born on May 5, 1914, in Cincinnati, Ohio, was widely known for his romantic and charismatic roles in films such as The Mark of Zorro, The Razor's Edge, and was considered one of the most attractive leading men of Hollywood in the 1930s to 1940s. However, Tyrone Power tragically passed away from a heart attack while filming Solomon and Sheba in Spain on November 15, 1958, at the age of 44. His sudden death shocked Hollywood and audiences alike. After his passing, Tyrone Power was honored as one of the most handsome and talented actors in 20th century cinema. He left behind many iconic roles, contributing significantly to the golden age of Hollywood during his 40-year artistic career. Number 24, William Holden, born on April 17, 1918, in O'Fallon, Illinois, was widely known for his handsome and talented performances in numerous classic films such as Sunset Boulevard, Stalag 17, and The Bridge on the River Kwai, earning an Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role for Stalag 17 Inches in 1954. A significant moment in his career was his portrayal of an aging silent film star in Sunset Boulevard in 1950, which earned him his first Oscar nomination. William Holden passed away on November 16, 1981, at the age of 63 due to accidental asphyxiation from inhaling smoke caused by a cigarette fire in his home. His death saddened many fans and the Hollywood entertainment industry as they mourned the loss of his talented performances. William Holden was acclaimed as one of the greatest actors in American cinema, leaving behind many unforgettable roles during his 40-year career. Don't miss the characters in the background and make sure you watch until the end of the video because there's a very exciting part. Number 23, Hattie McDaniel, born on June 10, 1895, in Wichita, Kansas, was widely known for her iconic role as the maid Mammy in the classic film, Gone with the Wind, 1939, becoming the first African-American actress to win an Oscar. Despite playing supporting roles, she reached the pinnacle of her career with an Oscar win for Best Supporting Actress in 1940 for this role, breaking barriers for African-American actors in Hollywood. However, Hattie McDaniel passed away prematurely on October 26, 1952, at the age of 57, due to breast cancer and pneumonia. Her death shocked the public as there were very few African-American actors in Hollywood at that time. She was praised for breaking racial barriers, paving the way for many other talents to follow, significantly contributing to diversity in the American entertainment industry.
Number 22, Burgess Meredith, born on November 16, 1907, in Cleveland, Ohio, was widely known for his outstanding supporting roles in numerous acclaimed films and television series such as Rocky, The Day of the Locust, and The Batman series. A highlight of his career was his portrayal of the grizzled trainer Mickey in the Rocky film series starting in 1976, a role that earned him a Golden Globe nomination. Meredith passed away on September 9, 1997, at the age of 89, at his home in Malibu, California, due to complications from heart and lung issues. His death saddened the entertainment industry as he had been recently honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Burgess Meredith was highly regarded for his diverse roles, leaving behind many memorable performances that resonated with audiences who loved cinema. Number 21, Toshiro Mifune, born on April 1, 1920, in Tsingtao, China, was widely known for his powerful and iconic samurai roles in numerous timeless films directed by the legendary filmmaker Akira Kurosawa, such as Seven Samurai, Yojimbo, and Ran. A pinnacle of his career was his portrayal of the wild-spirited samurai Kikuchio in the masterpiece Seven Samurai, 1954, a role that became a cultural icon in Japan. However, Toshiro Mifune tragically passed away on December 24, 1997, at the age of 77, due to a rare neurological condition, his death deeply saddened both the public and the film industry in Japan. He was praised as the greatest actor in Japanese cinema, making significant contributions to promoting Asian cinema to the world through timeless masterpieces. Number 20, River Phoenix was born on August 23, 1970, in Madras, Oregon. He was widely known for his outstanding performances at a young age in Stand By Me, Running On Empty, and reached the pinnacle of his career with My Own Private Idaho, at just 21 years old. River was a prodigious talent of 1990s cinema and was expected to become a great actor. However, Phoenix tragically passed away on the night of October 30, 1993, at the age of 23, due to a drug overdose outside a club in Los Angeles. His death left Hollywood and fans reeling from the loss of such a promising talent. Despite his young age, River Phoenix left behind many memorable performances that resonated with audiences. He was considered one of the brightest young talents of 20th century cinema, cut short by addiction. Number 19, Heath Ledger was born on April 4, 1979, in Perth, Australia. He was widely known for his stellar performances in 10 Things I Hate About You, Brokeback Mountain, and reached the pinnacle of his career with his iconic portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight in 2008. With his portrayal of the Joker, he posthumously won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, but sadly, this achievement came after Ledger's untimely death on January 22, 2008, at the age of 28 due to accidental overdose of prescription drugs at his home in New York. His sudden death plunged the entertainment world into mourning. Despite leaving us too soon, Heath Ledger is still regarded as one of the great talents of his generation, leaving behind many iconic roles that deeply touched audiences. His passing was a significant loss to the world of cinema, Number 18, John Candy was born on October 31, 1950, in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. He was widely known for his endearing comedic roles in popular films such as Splash, The Great Outdoors, Uncle Buck, and reached the height of his career with Cool Runnings in 1993. His unmatched comedic talent earned Candy widespread praise. 
However, he tragically passed away on March 4, 1994, in Mexico due to a heart attack at the age of 43. His sudden death left Hollywood and audiences deeply saddened, the public showered John Candy with praise for his natural comedic talent and versatile acting abilities. He was considered one of the greatest comedic actors in Canadian cinema and his untimely departure was a significant loss to the global entertainment industry. Number 17. Patrick Swayze was born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas. He was widely known for his handsome looks and charismatic performances in films like Dirty Dancing, Ghost, and reached the peak of his career with his role in the action film Point Break. In 1991, Swayze was regarded as one of the most charming actors of Hollywood in the 1980s to 1990s. However, he passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57 after a more than two-year battle with pancreatic cancer. The news of his passing deeply saddened fans worldwide, despite his rugged lid looks, Patrick Swayze was highly praised for his diverse acting abilities. He left behind many iconic roles, contributing significantly to the Hollywood film industry of that era, and his premature departure due to illness was a great loss, don't stop in the middle. This video will have many interesting surprises for you if you patiently watch until the end. Number 16. Robin Williams was born on July 21, 1951, in Chicago, Illinois. He was widely known for his natural comedic talent and versatile acting skills in films such as Good Will Hunting, Dead Poets Society, Mrs. Doubtfire, and reached the peak of his career when he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1998 for Good Will Hunting. In addition to his acting talent, Robin Williams was renowned for his philanthropic work, supporting numerous nonprofit organizations. However, he tragically passed away on August 11, 2014, at the age of 63, from suicide due to prolonged depression. His death shocked the world, Robin Williams left behind many iconic roles, making significant contributions to Hollywood cinema as well as social philanthropy. He was hailed as a comedic genius, a dedicated artist to his craft, and his passing was a profound loss to both the film industry and society. Number 15. Brandon Lee was born on February 1, 1965, in Oakland, California. He was widely known for his impressive portrayal of Eric Draven in the cult film The Crow in 1994, reaching the height of his short-lived career, promising a bright future. However, during a filming accident, Brandon was fatally wounded by a prop gun with a live round on March 31, 1993, at the age of 28. His tragic death deeply shocked the Hollywood entertainment industry and fans worldwide. With his singular role in The Crow, Brandon Lee was expected to become a new action star of cinema. His premature departure truly was a great loss to the entertainment industry as he was just beginning to embark on a promising career. Number 14. Chris Farley was born on February 15, 1964, in Madison, Wisconsin. He was widely known for his endearing comedic talent through performances at the Second City Comedy Club and iconic roles in films like Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, and Beverly Hills Ninja. His classic comedic roles earned Farley much acclaim. However, he tragically passed away on December 18, 1997, at the age of 33, due to heart failure and drug overdose at his home in Chicago. His sudden death shocked the entertainment world and fans. Despite his young age, 
Chris Farley was highly regarded for his natural comedic talent and acting abilities. He left behind many unforgettable roles, contributing to the humorous spirit of Hollywood cinema at that time, and his premature departure was a significant loss. Spending time bonding with family and friends will help you feel happier and more stable. Maintain good relationships around you. Number 13. Richard Pryor was born on December 1, 1940, in Peoria, Illinois. He was widely known for his groundbreaking style of black comedy, sharp wit, and versatile acting in films such as Silver Streak, Stir Crazy, and Brewster's Millions. The peak of his career included receiving the Golden Globe Special Achievement Award in 1998 and an honorary Oscar from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 2005. However, Richard Pryor passed away on December 10, 2005, in Los Angeles after battling multiple sclerosis for many years, his death marked the end of an era in American comedy and cinema. Richard Pryor was honored as one of the greatest stand-up comedians, a trailblazer in breaking racial barriers, and his contributions greatly enriched popular culture. Number 12. James Gandolfini was born on September 18, 1961, in Westwood, New Jersey. He was widely known for his portrayal of Tony Soprano in the groundbreaking television series The Sopranos on HBO, a role that earned him three Golden Globe Awards and an Emmy. The pinnacle of his career was the resounding success of The Sopranos from 1999 to 2007, a series often hailed as one of the greatest of all time. However, James Gandolfini tragically passed away on June 19, 2013, at the age of 51, due to a heart attack while on a business trip in Rome, Italy. His death left Hollywood and fans worldwide deeply saddened, losing one of the leading actors of a new generation. Gandolfini was praised for his deeply internalized acting ability, becoming an icon of early 21st century cinema. Number 11. Phil Hartman was born on September 24, 1948, in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. He was widely known for his comedic roles on the television show, Saturday Night Live, and in series like, News Radio, and, The Simpsons. The peak of his career included his role as the witty news anchor Bill McNeil on, News Radio, from 1995 to 1998, and voicing various characters on the beloved animated series, The Simpsons. However, Phil Hartman was tragically shot and killed by his wife, Bryn Hartman, in a domestic dispute on May 28, 1998, at the age of 49. His death sent shockwaves through the television industry, losing a great comedic talent. Phil Hartman was praised as one of the most natural comedic actors, with diverse acting abilities, leaving behind many unforgettable comedic roles that audiences cherish. Number 10. Phil Hartman was born on September 24, 1948, in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. He was widely known for his comedic roles on the television show, Saturday Night Live, and in series like, News Radio, and, The Simpsons. The peak of his career included his role as the witty news anchor Bill McNeil on, News Radio, from 1995 to 1998, and voicing various characters on the beloved animated series, The Simpsons. However, Phil Hartman was tragically shot and killed by his wife, Bryn Hartman, in a domestic dispute on May 28, 1998, at the age of 49. His death sent shockwaves through the television industry, losing a great comedic talent. Phil Hartman was praised as one of the most natural comedic actors, with diverse acting abilities, leaving behind many unforgettable comedic roles that audiences cherish.
Number 9. Audrey Hepburn was born on May 4, 1929, in Brussels, Belgium. She was widely known for her elegant beauty and natural acting talent through timeless classics like Roman Holiday, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and My Fair Lady. The peak of her career was marked by winning the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Roman Holiday in 1954 and being regarded as a fashion icon for her impeccable style. Audrey Hepburn passed away on January 20, 1993, in Toulouse, Switzerland, at the age of 63 due to colon cancer. The death of the screen legend plunged Hollywood and global audiences into mourning. With her ethereal beauty and soulful acting, she was hailed as the queen of the silver screen, leaving behind many enchanting and memorable roles. Number 8. Elizabeth Taylor was born on February 27, 1932, in Hampstead, London, England. She was widely known for her dazzling beauty and acting talent in many classic films such as Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Butterfield 8, Cleopatra, and won two Academy Awards for Best Actress. The peak of her career came when she portrayed Cleopatra in the 1963 film of the same name, becoming a monumental entertainment icon. Elizabeth Taylor passed away on March 23, 2011, in Los Angeles at the age of 79 due to complications from heart and brain issues. The death of the screen legend elicited endless mourning from the entertainment world. With her radiant beauty and unparalleled acting talent, she was regarded as the Queen of Hollywood, leaving behind many beautiful and seductive roles that captivated audiences. Join me to discover what's waiting at the end of the video, it will definitely be worth it. Number 7. Jean Harlow was born on March 3, 1911, in Kansas City, Missouri. She was widely known for her seductive beauty, platinum blonde hair, and iconic roles in films like Hell's Angels, The Public Enemy, and Red Dust. The peak of her career came in 1933 when Harlow became Hollywood's leading sex symbol, dubbed the Blonde Bombshell, for her sizzling allure. However, she tragically passed away on June 7, 1937, at the age of 26 at her home due to complications from appendicitis, blood poisoning, and kidney failure. Jean Harlow's death shocked the Hollywood entertainment industry, losing a glamorous star and talented actress at the height of her fame. She was seen as an icon of female empowerment and sexual freedom in the 1930s, leaving behind many provocative and unforgettable roles in the hearts of fans. Number 6. Sharon Tate was born on January 24, 1943, in Dallas, Texas. She was known for her ethereal beauty and acting talent through films like Valley of the Dolls, The Wrecking Crew, and The Fearless Vampire Killers. The peak of her career came when she starred alongside her husband, director Roman Polanski, in the film The Fearless Vampire Killers, in 1967. However, Sharon Tate was brutally murdered on August 9, 1969, while eight months pregnant by followers of Charles Manson, her brutal and untimely death at her own home sent shockwaves through Hollywood and global audiences. With her exquisite beauty and impressive acting skills, Sharon Tate was seen as a promising star before her life was tragically cut short by senseless violence. Number 5. Veronica Lake was born on November 14, 1922, in Brooklyn, New York. She was widely known for her sultry beauty, signature peek-a-boo hairstyle, and roles in films like Sullivan's Travels, This Gun for Hire. The peak of her career came in 1942 when she became one of Hollywood's biggest stars with her iconic hairstyle and seductive beauty. However, 
Veronica Lake tragically passed away on July 7, 1973, at the age of 50 in Burlington, Vermont, due to complications from hepatitis, nephritis, and malnutrition caused by alcoholism. Her tragic death saddened many fans, mourning the loss of a glamorous star at the height of her fame. Despite her short-lived career, Veronica Lake left behind many alluring and unforgettable roles that continue to captivate audiences. Number 4. Hedy Lamarr was born on November 9, 1914, in Vienna, Austria. She was widely known for her breathtaking beauty and acting talent in films like Ecstasy, Samson and Delilah, The Strange Woman, and was one of the most alluring sex symbols of the 1930s to 1940s. The peak of her career came when she starred as the lead in the film Samson and Delilah in 1949, the first film shot entirely in Technicolor and became the highest grossing film of that year. Hedy Lamarr passed away on January 19, 2000, in Castleberry, Florida, at the age of 85 due to heart and lung complications. Her death left the entertainment world mourning the loss of a true beauty and talented actress. Hedy Lamarr was praised for her exquisite beauty and diverse acting abilities, leaving behind many seductive and iconic roles that became legendary in the hearts of movie lovers. Make time for recreational and relaxing activities that you enjoy. This will help you relax your mind and renew your energy. Number 3. Ava Gardner was born on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina. She was widely known for her sultry beauty, sensuality, and acting talent in films like The Killers, The Barefoot Contessa, On the Beach. The peak of her career came when she starred in the classic film The Barefoot Contessa in 1954, solidifying her status as one of the most alluring stars of Hollywood in the 1950s to 1960s. Ava Gardner passed away on January 25, 1990, in London due to complications from pneumonia. Her death was mourned by fans worldwide, grieving the loss of a true Hollywood icon. Ava Gardner was celebrated as a symbol of sensual beauty with a natural acting style, leaving behind many fiery and unforgettable roles that continue to mesmerize audiences around the world. Number 2. Betty Page was born on April 22, 1923, in Nashville, Tennessee. She was widely known for her provocative beauty and pin-up photography style in the 1950s, becoming an iconic symbol of sensuality for her generation. The peak of her career came as she worked as a professional nude model for magazines and artistic films for men, with her voluptuous hourglass figure. However, Betty Page retired from modeling in 1957 after becoming a devout Christian. She passed away on December 11, 2008, in Los Angeles at the age of 85. Betty Page's death saddened fans worldwide, mourning the loss of a great beauty. Despite her brief career, she was praised as a significant figure in shaping contemporary culture, leaving behind many timeless images that continue to inspire art lovers. Number 1. Brittany Murphy was born on November 10, 1977 in Atlanta, Georgia. She has been widely known for her natural acting ability since she was a child through films such as Clueless, Girl, Interrupted, 8 Mile, and peaked her career with the leading role in Uptown Girls in 2015. 2003. The future was promising, but Brittany Murphy died suddenly on December 20, 2009 at the age of 32 at her home in Los Angeles due to unusual cardiac arrest. Her premature death made the Hollywood film industry and her fans extremely sad. Despite her young age, Brittany Murphy has left behind many impressive roles with great acting talent.
And that is the list of top 30 actors you will never see again. Hope you enjoyed this video and are amazed at the changes that time has brought to the stars we once knew. And what do you think? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments section. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications to update more interesting stories from the entertainment world. See you in the next video.